Hey everybody, Batmerk here. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Goon, which is Brew, part one of four. Um, in case you didn't know, spoilers, The Goon is a comic book that's been around for, I think, about 20 years. About a, um, it's like a, a genre uh, mismatch, a genre blender. It's basically got comedy and horror. It takes place like in the Prohibition, and The Goon is this, um, this like mob enforcer that goes around and uh, extorts money out of different people and pays for protection in this town. Um... And uh, the town is just filled with, like, <clears throat> monsters and stuff like that. Think, like, Beetlejuice with a bunch of gangsters and thugs. And he has his best friend, Frankie, here. That's his uh, sidekick. Yeah, and they just go around and they just, like, collect money. And they hang out at this bar called Norton's Pub. And it's just a funny comic. It's the funniest comic book in the industry. And it's been around. And it's, you know, it's it's, it's consistent. The artwork is it's, it's written and created and drawn and illustrated and painted and colored, depending on what issue by Eric Powell. Um, but this is it right here. Awesome comic. This book right here is is uh, he he's just doing the covers for it, and he's got a team that's uh, that's doing it for him now. I guess it's uh, uh, written by uh, Roger uh, Langridge and illustrated by Nar Mike Norton, colors by Marissa Luis, and uh, yeah. So I figured I'd give it a shot um, just to see what it's about because I like the universe and I like the tone and the style and the art looks pretty cool. Um, it gets the job done and it basically has these uh, witches, um, and they're uh, you know in a bog and they're. Getting ready to um, get some some roots to make some brew, and uh, yeah, basically um, it, it has that, and then it jumps to the um, basically um, the goon. He's uh, he's on the docks right now, and um, you got Frankie talking to him. So uh, I see, I says to where uh, I got I got nothing against the chickens. A little guy just likes a little warning. Seems reasonable, right? Anyway, the bandages come off on Tuesday. The warehouse we're looking for should be right about here. So you got the uh, fisherman, Kaiser Fisherman's old peculiar 36%. And then you have a... Funny, it's not like the Kaiser to miss a beer delivery. Norton warned him we would be coming, right? Don't matter. Either way, we're taking as many crates back with us as possible as we crash. You got this big old <laughs> goblin, but it's a brownie. Ah, for Christ, the brownie's off his medicine. How do you keep a Union brownie sauced in a brewery? Oof, he just punches him. Rawr! Hey, you there, Captain Haddock. What's with this brownie? You guys miss a dose? It's Otto. He forgot to take the, me the medicine. To, to, he forgot to medicate the Union rep. This ought to calm him down. Stand clear, boys. Useless fishy bastards. I'll get the hooch ready. Give him the old one too. So the put <laughs> then the, <laughs> the goon just hits him with an anchor. Whomp, right in the mouth. His, <laughs> his teeth are just coming out. It's pretty funny. Once you do it. Top him <laughs> Top him up, Frankie. Sure thing. When you found us, get me a funnel. I keep telling you guys, twice a day minimum. No ifs, buts, or maybes. Look, 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 look. Otto, you dumb coof. I told you to keep the dock workers. <laughs> Union rep full of beer at all times. It, it, it's my first day. <laughs> and you look over here. Thing is, once he's got a few inside him, he actually ain't a bad union rep. Conscientious, down to earth, and extremely polite. Goodness to me. Did I do all this? Do uh, I, I do hope I haven't caused you any mischief. Time's a wasting, and Norton's got drunks to hydrate. Let's get this fish beer to the bar. Right behind you. And you. I want to see you good and drunk next time I'm down here. Best way to avoid your little problem is if you never get sober in the first place. Capiche? Y yes, yes, sir, M Mr. Frankie, sir. <laughs> Stomp. Little memory jogger for you there, sunshine. Remember, I'll be watching. Yes, sir. Th th thank you, sir. I like him. He really, he, he, he really is very polite. So yeah, they're taking the beer down. They're taking the beer down there, and they're they're talking about the beer and how it's um basically um real fishy tasting, and there's a lot of. Jokes about that, and then the um, the, uh, the the witches come into town, and um, 
basically there's this like a there's like this conflict going on between basically the the witches beer is like super bomb and they uh everyone's drinking the witch's beer because it doesn't taste like fish <laughs> and everyone likes it and um now the now the um the uh the main uh, guys running the uh the other beer they're basically like mad because the witch's beer is selling better and then there's this like puritan looking dude that comes in and he's like the uh he's, he's making sure he, he wants to see all the, the beer records and uh he's like an inspector um i think he's like the um health inspector or whatnot i forgot but uh yeah he comes in he's checking on i think he's i think he's gonna be a dude later on the story that's gonna be have something to do with the the witch uh the witches or something like that but then they go like to this one page and they're all talking about like who likes the beer <laughs> and like why they like the beer like what people are saying about phoenix feather and that's the name of the, the witch's beer you know phoenix feather cleared up my skin and improved my singing voice and then this <laughs> this dude right here phoenix feather, phoenix feather. and this guy right here I like it. I could swear I feel my eyes growing back for a moment there. Maybe all choked up. And this lady right here. Mmm, I'm getting lavender. Butcher's armpits. A jam jar full of urine during a full moon. Ever so cheeky. Listen, it sells. What do you want from me? And you got a fucking chicken in here. <laughs> I had no idea what to expect from Phoenix Feather until I was forced to drink. Some of it at knife point. Now I have my own radio show. And then the spider right here. He's got... <laughs> the spider's hilarious, man. One of the books he had like... He had like a thousand babies and his wife was coming for child support. It was, it was funny. Phoenix Feather has stopped the agonizing pain I've ever felt since my arm was torn off. If only certain other people were as considerate. And this guy. Eddie don't like furniture. And then the, and the goon. It's smooth, I guess. Yeah, so basically, um, in this issue, uh, in this issue, um, they got, um, you know, the, the, the witches and then they have these like almost like nazi brewers <laughs> in the town i mean that's kind of they're german for sure but they got the they got the nazi shit on i don't know it's probably some type of uh metaphor or something like that but yeah it's it's pretty funny regardless I don't, you know i don't really give a fuck but yeah they got this hellboy book coming out in this this uh june june 2020 albatross eric powell so it looks like the uh it looks like the eric powell's you know having people do this for a little while which isn't a bad idea you know if he's got a good team uh the the book's all right, you know. Um, I definitely give it um, two horns up. Um, it's, it's pretty funny. Hopefully, it, hopefully it gets funnier and it stays at least just as funny. And looks like he's doing the uh, the cover duties. Um, but yeah, you know, this is it's a pretty cool independent book. Um, if you're if you're really into independent comics, you might even uh, like to check out my book right here. It's a shameless uh, show right here. This is Butch Cleaver. This is a book I'm doing right now on a, on a uh, crowdfunder through Indiegogo. It's a supernatural horror western. Basically, it's about a butcher that gets killed and he's brought back to life by a, a voodoo hex, and it gives him the power to basically uh, he can um, he can uh, weaponize bone on a molecular level, and he could you know make different types of weapons. And he's trying to figure out who murdered him. He, he was a bad guy. He was like he's like psychopath, but he you know he's come back to life and he's given a second chance. So he's trying to he's trying to do good. So you know it's got elements of uh, you know just like the eighteen hundreds. It's a western. It's got it's gothic. It's got Victorian era in inspirations, all types of stuff that I'm into. Um, that's the that's it right there. And uh, basically, this is the campaign right here. If you want to go over to sign up, I'm gonna start sending out emails and getting backer input and coming up with different tiers and stuff like that. I, I plan on launching it uh, hopefully this summer. And uh, this is some more of the artwork from it. That's the uh, maybe another cover or something like that. And that's his. Um, that's the uh, another picture of him. That's when he uh, awakens from his bone cocoon. That's the logo, and that's him and his and his bull. And uh, this right here is a comic skate book. And basically, what what comic skate is, it's a it's a network of fans and creators and customers that basically, you know, just only care about comics that you know are really customer and service and um, fan driven. And there's not a lot of extreme politics and a bunch of extreme religions in the book. So that's that's basically what it's all about. And uh, this right here um, is actually another book that's out right now through a uh, comic skate it's called the six gun gorilla and uh they just launched and it's basically about this gorilla that's a that's a cowboy and uh i could go really into the detail of it but I, you guys should probably just come and check it out for yourself it just launched and they got different tiers it's a it's a graphic novel and uh it collects the first uh six issues um and then it this one it also you can get a, uh, the the new issue so you can get the graphic novel but with, that has the first six issues and the 
the seventh issue or you can buy them separately and this is some awesome art right here by a uh, Kane and White that's the cover of the new one I mean think about a gorilla by himself man he could he could rip people to shreds and then with 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 you know with the machine gun or the six shooter and you know you had the 18 hundreds to it you got an awesome you know far out western come check out this campaign it looks awesome come on by and give it a look so this is the uh six gun gorilla it just launched on indiegogo and uh yeah just just go ahead and uh check it out and uh yeah if um if you like metal you like movies you like brewskis then uh stop on by smash that like button ring that bell and subscribe to metal movies and brewskis we got a uh, daily content here folks have a great day.